Everybody. So let's continue with our card series. This is card number three, and this little cutie is called Nutter, and he's one of the CC Design Sweet November stamps by Amy Young. I've already stamped him on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start with my scan, and I'm going to use E21, E00, and E000, and I color dark to light, so I'm going to start with E21. And let's start down here on his belly and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shadow right here maybe a little bit right here on the edge and get his arm where his sleeve is and then I'm going to grab E double zero And they're pretty small, so I'm just going to use those two colors. And then I'm going to go back to E21 for his face. To the inside of his ear. And I'm going to give him just a little bit of a nose, so I'm going to give him a little upside down U right here. And then I'm going to grab E00. And I'm going to lightly brush over the top of the E21. Just very lightly brush that and make that little line disappear. And I'm going to go around his eye a little bit. Do damp here by this top of his hat. You just lightly go over that little line until you got it blended away. Oh, don't forget his nose. Let's go over that just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to grab E000 and I'm going to fill in the rest of my white space. So I'm just going to brush over the top of my E00 and fill in the white. And it still looks kind of blotchy, but that's okay because I'm going to end up going over it again here in a minute. I'm just going to lay that for right now. And then I'm going to grab my cheek colors, which are R20 and R30. So I'm going to start with R20. And I'm going to give him a little bit of cheek color. So I always start with my cheek color on the edge of his cheek. And then just brush it as far in as I want his cheek to go. And over here I'm going to do, I'm not going to go clear to the edge, but I'm just going to kind of, pretty close. Like that. And then I'm going to grab R30 to blend that. And with the R30 I lay my pin down just a little bit on my R20. And then just lightly flick the edges. Just to soften those just a little bit. And then, to get rid of that blotchiness, I'm going to go back with my E00. And I'm just going to go right over that cheek. Flick it right out here into the middle. Same for this side. I'm going to start up here on the side. Go right over that cheek. Maybe work my line just a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab the E triple zero and just lightly go over the whole thing. And 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do his hair too. And for that, I just used E47. I wanted him to have dark hair. So I just went in with my E47 and filled that in. Which works out perfect for this one because I colored it the skin color. So I'm just going to color right over the top of that. And he's got a little bit right here on the bottom of his face that's showing. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to work on his pants. And for his pants, I'm going to use E44, E43, and E42. I'm going to start with E44. And I'm going to make it the darkest right here in the middle. I'm going to go down each side of that line like that. Maybe you could have his little hand cast a little bit of a shadow. And then I'm going to grab E43. And I'm going to just... Lightly brush over that E44 line. Lightly flick it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to fill it in with E42. And it still looks pretty blotchy, so I'm going to go back over it. I'm just going to lightly brush again right over my E42, or my E43 and 44, and just pull that right out into my lighter area just a little bit more. Just like that. Alright, so for his shirt, I'm going to use Y26 and Y23, and then for the button, I'm going to use Y or E44. So I'm going to start with Y26, and you're going to put that down where you want to add some shadows. So I'm going to make it have a little bit of a shadow right here in the crease of his arm. Same for this side. And then maybe down here on the back of this arm, add a little bit. And this little arm here is going to cast a little bit of a shadow, so I'm going to add a little bit right there. And he's got a little bit of his underside of his shirt showing, so I'm going to paint that. And then I'm going to grab Y23, and you lightly go over the 26 just a little bit, and you just pull that color right into the white, and by going over the edge there, you're, go you're softening it up. Go around my button, and if you color over the button, that's okay, because the E44 is going to cover that up. And then I'll grab the E44 for my button. I'm just going to color that in like that. Alright, so for his hat, I want it to be more shiny kind of right here in the middle. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to, my hat color is going to be R29, R27, R24, and R22. And so for my shadows, I'm going to just lay down a base shadow right along the edge with my R29. And then I'm going to grab um, R27. I'm just going to lightly go over the 20, the 29 just a little bit. R24, and again I'll lay it down on top of the 27, And then I'll grab R22. Oh, 
Okay, so for the hat muff, I'm going to use C00 and C0. And I'm going to start with C0. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of shading around the, the outside edge to look like it curls over just a little bit. So I'm going to go right down here to this side. And then I'm just going to go right up to about even with where his hat shows up here at the top. And then the same thing for this side. I'm just going to go right just almost a little bit past that where this hat would sort of come down. And then I'm going to grab um, the C00 and I'm just going to lighten that line. So I'm just going to feather over the top of that C0 just a little bit. Maybe go across the bottom here. Same for this side. And it just lightens it. It'll still be white, but it gives it a little bit of um, a shadow on each side so it looks like it kind of rolls over. It would also be really cute if you um, put um, sparkle fluff on there, that white um, sugar color. Just put some glue on there and dump a bunch of the sparkle fluff on there and be really cute. Okay, so let's do his eyes now. And for his eyes, I evidently need to re-ink my ink pad so it didn't stamp as dark as I wanted. So I'm going to use my um, Copic Mocha Liner. It's a 0 0.05 black pen. And I'm just going to go over his pupil with my pen to darken it up because it's kind of got some white splotchy places in there. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to color that in with my pen and darken it up. And then I'll go refill my ink pad. And then for the eyes, I'm going to use BO2, BO1, and B00. And I'm going to start with BO2. And for BO2, I'm just going to put a line right around his little iris. And then I'm going to grab BO1. And I'm going to put my pin down on the BO2 and just follow that line around. Same for this side. And then B00. Same thing, I put it down on top of the last color. And I'm just going to work it towards the middle there. And that's his eyes. Alright, so now I'm going to cut him out and then we will make our card. Okay, so I got my little nutter cut out. I didn't cut it out on camera because it takes me forever and I gotta hold it up close and it's just a nightmare. So we'll just get him all cut out and then put it together. So I've got the rest of my little kit here. And let's set little nutter over here. I've got all this stuff, so let's dump some of this stuff off. And so we're going to start by attaching this little brown wavy piece to our dark brown mat. Some glue on here. that stuck on and then we're going to stick on this little piece with the dots and it's actually the back of this little brown wavy piece or the front whichever you prefer and I'm going to put that right here on the edge of the little brown wavy piece that. And then next comes this little green dotted piece. And I want to be able to stick leaves underneath the edge here a little bit. So when I put the glue on, I'm not going to put the glue right next to the edge. I'm going to leave a little bit of, um, of space on this one side. Put the glue down a little bit further so you have room to tuck them underneath. Then I'm going to attach this one. And then we've got all these great leaves and such here. So let's put some of these leaves over here. And it also comes with some of these with these little acorns. And so the little acorns have tops and they're different sizes. So you've got some little fat roundish ones like this one. 
And then you've got some that are more oblong, kind of taller like this. So I'm going to put the little fat ones together and then the little oblong ones together. And believe it or not, the little tops also have different sizes. So you just got to kind of go, oh, this one's a little bit bigger, so it's going to go with one of these little fat ones. Same with this one. Like this. Okay, and then you're going to take your glue of choice. And I'm going to use um, Tombow Mono Multi Aqua. And you're just going to attach these tops to your little acorns. So I'm going to quickly put a little bit of glue on each one. And stick it onto each little acorn part. Okay, this is definitely not quick, but you're just going to glue each one of these little tops onto your little acorns, and these acorns are really cute. If you're going to cut out a bunch of these, I recommend getting two dies, because <laughs> there's they're really small, and so it'd be a lot easier if you had a couple of dies or three dies, and you just run it through, and you can cut out a lot of acorns at one time instead of just the little the six however many is on the die. I can't even remember now how many came on the die. But it'd be easier to cut out if you're going to do lots of acorns to cut them out a couple at a time. Okay, and I'm going to say that I put the wrong top on one of these because this one doesn't fit. So probably this one. Let me pick that one back off. So see, you can even get the wrong ones on there. So then you've got all your little parts here, and we're going to let those dry for a second. In the meantime, I've got all these leaves over here, and for those, I'm going to... Um, well, I think I'll do the white lines afterwards. So I'm going to have my card here, and let's move all of these over this way a little bit. And I want my little nutter to be... Hmm, Let's do, let's put the string on first. So let's do the string. So you've got your string, and I want my string, I'm going to have it so that it comes over here to the side, like that. And then I'm going to wrap it around so you're going to have it right here on this side. And then you're just going to wrap it around until you come until you run out of string. So it comes back and you have a little bit more on this side. And I actually could go, I could let it hang off about an inch on this one side and then wrap the string around. Like this. So you have about an inch left over on this side too. And if you wanted, you could do a piece of scotch tape or however you attach it. I'm just going to leave it like this. And I want my bow to be over here on this side. So I'm going to grab my little string and just to go. And of course it's not going to work out. So let's pull it a little bit tighter. My fingers are just too fumbly today. You're just going to get your bow however you want it. And you may have to move it around a little bit, um, fiddle with it until you get it exactly how you want. 
but for me that could be 15 minutes so I'm not gonna fiddle with it I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'll deal with that later but just like that you're just gonna tie it on there and you can work it around you know move your strings around however you want if you want them to be spread apart or you want them to be together or like this one's looped over the end just a little bit I'm just going to put that down here in the middle and move it around however you want so like that and then let's go ahead and attach that to the base of our card. So I'm going to put some glue on that. Tape. And then you're going to stick it on your card however you want that to go. If you want it to open to the side or you want it to open to the top. I'm just going to stick that down. Like this and then I want my little nutter to kind of be in the middle of this brown dotty piece so I'm just going to set him there so I can kind of see where he goes so I can see where I might want to put my my leaves so I'm going to grab some leaves here and I'm going to put a little bit of of my Tombow glue on the back and I'm just going to say hmm lift up your little green sheet just a little bit and I'm just going to stick that right like that and then I'm going to grab another leaf and again I'm going to apply some glue and I'm going to lift up the green paper just a little bit and I'm going to stuff it underneath okay then I'm going to grab another one And I want this one to be behind him a little bit, so I'm going to move him over, lift up my little green sheet, stick that in there, stick it down, stick him kind of back where I think he'll be. And let's do one on this side. More glue on the back. Lift up your green sheet, stuff it under the edge. Grab another leaf, glue. Let's do this one right here, like this. Oh, here's the last one. Let's grab this little leaf, some glue on the back. I'm going to have an acorn over here, so I'm going to put this one right here. Okay, and then you're going to grab some acorns, have whatever size you want. So I'm going to grab this one, put some glue on the back. And you're just going to stick them wherever you would like. And you can kind of alternate them, like that was a fat squatty one. Here's a longer one. And another fat squatty one. That. There's another fat squatty one. And this one's a fat squatty one. I'm going to put that one so it's kind of looping over the end of this one. And last but not least, this little tall, skinnier one. Uh, that one go right here. So it's kind of like this. And then I got my little nutter. I'm going to let that dry for a second. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and take my little nutter and I'm going to put some pop dots on the back. So I'm just going to stick some of these little pop dots on the back of him, hold him up. When they cut out these pop dots, they cut clear through the paper to the back, so they're kind of hard to get off the little sheet. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, his feet are kind of skinny, so I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to use a piece of this little edge part because it's a little bit, it's half the size. And then I'll just stick that down here between his little feet, or between his legs and his feet there because it's a little bit, it's a skinnier spot. And then you're going to pick the little things off the back. Of 
course it doesn't want to come off. And you're going to put him wherever you would like for him to go. And I want him to be just a little bit above this little string here. Like that. And then I'm going to take my, um, whoops, my white Sharpie paint pen and I'm going to shake it. But I'm going to leave the lid on because if you shake it without the lid on, you tend to spray it out and it gets onto your project and it's just, it makes a mess. So then I'm going to, I'm going to add some dots to his cheek. So I'm going to go in with my paint pen and I'm going to pick a couple of spots and I'm just going to push down on my pen and add those. And then I want to also add some um, white spots to my little um, acorn. So I'm just going to give each little acorn top a line. And then I'm going to give each acorn three little dots down the side. Go over here and do this side. Like that. And then if you want, you can give the leaves some little dots too. So for on the, each leaf, I'm just going to give a little line and then a couple of dots. And if you wanted, you could put the dots in the little um, the lines on before you glued them on totally up to you, but you add the little dots on there. And then next we have the, um, we have to add a little saying. And for our saying, I have picked, um, you're someone special. And so I want my saying to be right up here in the corner. So I have my stamp on a jig and I'm going to take my stamp on a jig and it goes, it's, it's a little T square and you just put the plastic in here like this. So I'm going to stamp it on my sheet of plastic first so I can make sure to get it where I want it. I'm going to ink up my stamp, and I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I'm just going to push it up against my T-square and stamp down on my plastic, and then you use the piece of plastic to position it where you want on your card. That way you get it straight, too. So I want it to be right there. So I'm going to take my T-square again, and I'm going to put it back onto the piece of plastic, and then I'm going to pick the plastic up and put it aside and I'm going to stamp my my stamp back up, ink it back up, and then I'm going to put the stamp down the side of the T-square right onto the card. And I love this ink, it always looks so good. So that is our finished card. Totally cute. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.